Hi, this is Ben Masonheimer for Silver Seas Yachts. If you've been looking for brokerage boats, you'll know there's not a lot of good ones out there and the good ones go fast. I think this is going to be one of those scenarios. Behind me I have a new listing. It's a 2008 Tierra 4300 Sovereign. It was loaded with all the options. It's one owner. It has 310 hours on the main engines and four, uh, I think 543 hours on the generator. Anyway, I've just gone through it and taken pictures and this thing's clean. I'm very excited to show it to you. Okay, here she is. I'm very impressed with the way this owner has kept care of this boat. There really is something to the whole first owner thing. I mean, these, these people that have these boats and they paid all the money for them, they really take care of them, they really treasure them. And this boat is just really well maintained and very well equipped. On the back we have what looks to be about 11 and a half foot tender. It has a Honda 30 on it. It has an electronic davit system. You can just push a button on a remote and it lowers it right down into the water. Very easy to use. Across the way we have the Glendinny Cable Master system which will uh, reel out your shore power cord. You have a swim ladder here. And look down the side of this thing. I hope you can see the shine on this. Not a water spot on a window. None of them are leaking from the inside. Really great. There is a bow sun pad that goes here on the bow. He keeps it in the aft bathroom. Sorry about the jet going over, but I'm near John Wayne Airport. We have a, a Maxwell windlass on the bow with foot controls that can also be controlled at the helm. And that is an all chain windlass. All the rails, everything's just beautiful. We have a satellite TV up top. You can see the uh, track vision dome and we have a Fruno, Fruno open array radar. Even the original logos are still shining. I'm usually replacing these about that time. So something I don't see very often is this uh, upgraded seating. And it's really in great shape. Where the cover hits it, there's a couple little spots that will come right out. Uh, but other than that, I mean, look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. And um, I've never actually seen this on one of these boats before. I'm sure there's a few of them out there with it, but the uh, teak table option, I know what Tierra charges for these on the new ones, so I can imagine it was a pretty penny in 08. Um, new seagrass matting, and you'll notice there's a rod holder on either side, and there's a hoop that assembles, goes in, and this zipper here is used for nice sunshade to cover this whole area. Right here, we have uh, underwater light switch, raw water wash down and then the raw water wash down and fresh water wash down are just here they have socketed hoses that come with the boat that plug in and then you have the hot and cold water shower there okay as we move forward we have our wet bar that's here here's our refrigerator again very tidy and clean throughout the boat I found um, these dehumidifiers everywhere. There's an aft cockpit cover that comes down over here and then he runs dehumidifiers in here. I really like these touches. It's amazing that this is all original. It's not scuffed. It's not scratched. It's really beautiful. Even the TR logos aren't faded. Up above we have two opening portholes with wood accents. Here at our helm we have storage beneath it and then this area has two zones of heat and air and the helm seat is powered. It goes forward and aft with the touch of this switch here. So we have Fruno Navnet 2 which would have been the best you could get in this uh, era when this thing was made and these are still very good today. I would not be changing these out. I mean I watch documentaries about you know military boats and whatnot and they're still running the same thing so it's a, if it's good enough for them then it's good enough for me. It's a Volvo IPS boat Here's your Volvo IPS joystick. This is IPS 600s, 310 hours on them. Here's their controls. Beautiful mahogany destroyer wheel here. I've left the sunshade on, um, but when this is off, you have great line of sight on these boats. Really, really nice um, views, and they run very level. You have an opening vent here in the windshield. I believe he's upgraded the stereo because this is Bluetooth, Pandora, XM and it also has iPod capability. You have a map case here and let's go ahead and head on downstairs. Okay, as we step down into the boat you're gonna notice that all the wood in here is just in great shape. 
The stairs usually show signs of wear. I don't think there's ever been a shoe on these stairs. They're just in amazing shape. Same with all the flooring and the tables. No scratches. Just really, really in great shape. So this seating area here is massive. This will seat hmm, eight people comfortably. Um, it also has a shorter set of table legs that lower this down. The table comes down, there's a cushion that goes on it, and it makes a very comfortable, very large bed. Also, if you see these two sockets here in the floor, down in this hatch here, that's a very large storage hatch. Both of these are, here and here. In there, you have bar stools. I'll try to open that up and show it to you, but there's bar stools that slide down in, and then you have seating for more people around this table. Here's our panel and salon air conditioning. We have storage just to the left of that. Another storage here. And then you can see he's installed a um, offshore marine labs water maker to make water. So that's a very nice option for Catalina if you're out on a mooring. Again, look at the window frames, no leaking below them. Tierra builds a great boat, but this particular owner has just taken it to the next level with the care of the boat. Here's your television. You have a Bose sound system below, the KVH box, a box for satellites below that, and then you have a inverter here, and your generator controls and shore power meters and switches. In our galley, this particular owner has installed a new refrigerator, stainless steel refrigerator, and this is like something we would have on a brand new TR. It's really top of the line, very large freezer. very large refrigerator. You have a convection oven microwave up, up above and then this lid comes out, covers that up. Here's your iPod. Don't see that one every day, do you? So here we have a two burner stove top. Also very clean, very well kept. And one thing about the galley in these boats is all the storage, just tons of storage. More storage here, and then up above. We have two sinks here, and you have a faucet that um, can, can pop out and give you a little extra cleaning capability there. We've got a coffee maker in here. I don't think that comes with the boat. Heading back into our aft stateroom, again, floors, everything's very nice. We have two very large twin berths. They have their own television and DVD player. Storage below the vanity and storage behind the mirror. And then you have some more storage there. Really cool features and touches here. Now, uh, you do have a hanging locker here. There's storage under each of the beds, but for the large items, be, um, when the gentleman's not using the boat, the guy that owns it, he stores everything in here. So these are all, this is a bow pad and there's, you know, a filler cushion for the cockpit to make that into a sunbed out back. Here is the, um, that bimini top for the cockpit I was telling you about. So when they're using this boat, all this is going to come out and then they have access to the head. But while it's stored, it's all in there. Also, there's a vacuum flush head in there. Okay, moving forward into the master stateroom. Again, everything's clean. And one thing I love about this boat is it doesn't have any odor to it. I really don't like head odor in a boat, and no one, no one else does either. So we have a double hanging locker here. It's a very large size. As you can see, it goes way back in there. You have storage all around the bed. You have a TV with DVD player. You have two storage drawers below the bed. Right, actually, yeah, two storage drawers below the bed. Bed lifts up, and you have a very large storage area below. AC in every room, and the control for that one is here. And here's our head. We have storage behind the mirrored vanity. Storage below. I like this accent on the floor. Very cool how they've done that. Back your flush head. And then you have a large shower with its own porthole. And it has a seating area that in most cases is used for uh, 
shaving the legs, you know, somewhere for the ladies to put their legs up. All right. Okay, so here's the short table rods, um, and that allows you to lower the table down. All the TR life jackets are in there, and then you'll see the, uh, the, the bar stools I was talking about. Again, you have another one forward here that's also very large. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the engine hatch open, and I will be right back. You're gonna be really impressed with this engine room. It looks great. Okay, here's our engine room. Two IPS 600s. These are Volvo D6s rated at 435 horsepower each, and with the IPS system, you can see those pod drives back there behind them. With those IPS pod drives, you get the same as 600 shaft horsepower. Again, super clean. Here's our air conditioning chillers. This is the top of the line way to do an air conditioning system on a boat. We have all new batteries here. I believe they're AGM. Here's our generator, just here. And then forward of that, we have all of our controls for the uh, water maker, and we have our battery charger, fire suppression. Here's the head tank. Everything's really easy to access. Glendenny cable master system, and then you have water tanks on either side. So again, just a really nice installation. Uh, every option was chosen, including, uh, you see between the engines, that's the Reverso oil change system. So it's very easy to change the oil on this thing. You just pull up to the fuel dock, they pull the oil change hose out, drain the oil out of everything, and then they can add oil back in through the same system. I've crawled through this whole engine room, I've inspected the pods, and from what I can see, this is a really good boat. Again, I'm Ben Masonheimer for Silver Seas Yachts. If you're interested in this boat or any other boat in the Southern California area, use new, buying, selling, let me know. You can reach me at 619-800-3491 or you can email me at bigboatben at gmail.com. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you on the water.